Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Today we're going to continue with our series on relationships and what we can see in a Bartha chart in terms of relationships. And specifically today I'm going to talk about the most important relationship auxiliary stars. Yeah, there are a lot of stars that relate to relationships, but there are four that we look out uh, specifically, and those are called the Red Matchmaker Star, the Peach Blossom Star, the Salty Pool Star, and the Red Chamber Star. They all have different meanings. They're slightly different, but these are the most important ones. Now, whenever you do a reading with these stars, uh, it's very important to distinguish between whether or not the person you're doing the reading for is single or in a relationship. Otherwise, this creates a lot of fear and misunderstanding. If you are single, then these stars uh, indicate that a new relationship is on the horizon, that something is happening. Yeah, that the doors are open to find a new partner and find a new relationship. And a lot of people who are in a relationship then fear, oh my God, does that mean that my partner is having an affair during those times? No. So if you are single, this indicates indeed that the doors are open for relationship or for new partners. If you are married, then these auxiliary stars indicate that you can reignite the spark in the marriage or in the relationship, yeah, and that you can have a deeper relationship on an emotional, mental, or physical level. Yeah, so please be very clear on that. These stars in and of themselves do not indicate an affair if you are in a relationship. A lot of other requirements need to be fulfilled for an affair to actually happen. And yes, we can see that as well in a, in a Barca chart, but not just solely with those auxiliary stars. So please be careful with that when you do a reading for someone who already has a relationship. All right, so the first thing obviously you need to do is plot your Bartha chart. You can plot your own and also the one of your partner if you're in a relationship. And you can go to this link here. I will also post the link in the notes to this video so you can just copy paste it. And you just enter your date and time of birth and find your chart. The most important thing we are focusing on in this chart is this part here. Yeah, this is called the natal chart. So the year pillar, the month pillar, the day pillar, and the hour pillar. On an advanced level, we also look at the luck pillar, but I'm not going to go into this too much. Um, but the current year obviously is always interesting because uh, we want those things to happen now. And in order for them to happen now, we need to look at what year we are in currently. All right, so these are the aspects of the chart that we are looking into. Now let's uh, check out those stars. The first one is the red matchmaker star. The red matchmaker star is in charge of love at first sight. Yeah, it brings a feeling of instant attraction. And um, it's just, you see someone and you're instantly in love or you're instantly attracted to that person. And so this is obviously a great star when you are single. And if you have this coming in in a year and obviously go out, mingle with people and there's a high chance that you're gonna meet that one person that you're feeling an instant attraction to. If you are married, the red matchmaker star can, can reignite that um, that uh, attraction that you felt when you met your partner for the first time. You have butterflies in the stomach and all of that. So in that case, you actually go have to go on date nights, make time for your partner, and this will be reignited. Yeah, it's not just going to fall into your lap. You have to do something for it. So for this particular star, what we look at is the year branch and the day branch if you are single yeah if you're single you look at the year and the day if you are married you only look at the day not the year right so different readings for different situations singles you look at the year branch and the day branch married people or if you're in a relationship you only look at the day branch all right so for this particular person, let's just assume that this person is single. They have the ox here in the year. 
And then we look, where do we have the ox? Here. So here's the ox, which means that the tiger is this person's red matchmaker star. And if it were the tiger, then the ox would be the red matchmaker star, right? So it's always a pair. So in every year that brings in the tiger, uh, this person has a much, much higher chance of getting that feeling of instant attraction or love at first sight. So whenever the tiger comes in through a year, when you're in a tiger year, this happens. Now, as you can see, this person actually has two tigers already in the natal chart. This means that it's very likely that this happens a lot, not just in tiger years, but this happens to this person a lot because this person already has, has their own red matchmaker star in the chart. Um, they will often find themselves strongly attracted, instantly attracted to other people. Yeah, so this happens if you have this already in your natal chart. Otherwise, when it comes in, in a year pillar. So current year is an ox year, so there's no tiger, but the next year is a tiger year. So 2022 is a tiger year. So this person will actually uh, find the red matchmaker star next year, meaning go out, mingle, meet with other people. Now, if you are married, then you focus on the day branch only. So this person has a rooster in the day branch. Here we have the rooster. So the red, red matchmaker would be the horse. Meaning you have to wait for the horse year for this to happen or for this to come in. Again, if you're single, you, do, you look at both. Yeah, the year and the day. So this person, single person, um, has two red matchmakers, the tiger and the horse. If you're a married person, it would just be the horse. Yeah, so during this time, and again, this can also come in through a month or a day. Um, whenever the red matchmaker star comes in, you have the ability to become more attractive and fall uh, in love with someone instantly. And if you're married, you can reignite that spark and that feeling when you first met. All right, the next one is the peach blossom star. Now the peach blossom star brings general likability and like a boost in charisma. Yeah, it's... Um, Everybody just likes you, yeah, for no good reason. Um, people just tend to like you when you are under the influence of the peach blossom star. And so this one here um, relies on the day branch. Yeah, so the animal sign you have in the day. Same for married and for single people. So this person has the rooster in the day. So you check here, where is the rooster? Yeah. Here it says today in this table. So here we've got the rooster, which means that the horse is the peach blossom star for this person. So whenever this person goes through a horse year, um, he or she will become much more likable and much more attractive to the opposite sex and the same sex for that matter. Yeah, You're, you'll, you'll generally be more able to attract people to you. And this can obviously be great also in a business sense. Yeah, not just um, romantically speaking, if you're more likable, you've got more charisma, this is great for business as well. Now, if you are married, uh, then this is a great year to just become all lovey-dovey because your partner is going to like you. Let's say last year was a really bad year and you were just behaving like a bitch, but this year suddenly maybe the peach blossom star comes in and your partner will just like you no matter what because you become much more likable. So this is obviously great. Take advantage of that whenever the peach blossom star comes in through a year pillar. Yeah, So you would look at this one here current year yeah so this person would have to wait until 2026 when the horse is coming in but again on a more advanced level we also look at the luck pillars the months the days yeah you can use that as well all right now the next one is called the salty pool star and the salty pool star um brings affairs and lust yeah it makes you very very lustful 
and um, it's not something that will last. So it's more of a fling, like a, a something that comes and goes like a fleeting passion um, that is not very lasting. So it's excellent, obviously, if you are single and you just want to try out the talent pool. Uh, if the salty pool star comes in in a particular year, this is great. Um, if you are in a relationship, then this means that you can really reignite your sex life during this particular year. It does not mean that you or your partner will have an affair. Yeah, it does not mean that at all. So the way to see this uh, in a chart, you need to focus on this part here. Yeah, the stem, the day stem. Now, unfortunately, this one here is C. C Earth. Uh, the Earth Day Masters, both Wu Earth and Sea Earth, they do not have a salty pool star. So you just have to rely on Red Matchmaker, uh, Peach Blossom, and also the Red Chamber. But for all others, they have this salty pool. So let's just say, uh, let's assume you were a Jia Wood Day Master. Yeah, so let's put the Jia here. Let's assume you were a Jiawu Day Master, then the rat would be your salty pool star. So whenever the rat comes in, whenever you go through a rat year, this particular salty pool energy is being activated. And during that year, you will feel much more lustful <clears throat> and much more open to um, just playing the field and having fun. Yeah, so for singles, this is always great. And as I said, for married people, reignite that spark in the bedroom. Yeah, it's great to bring that passion back. All right. And then lastly, we have the red chamber star. Now, the red chamber star doesn't really have anything to do with love. It just makes you generally very horny. Yeah. So if you need to really reignite that sex life or if you need to find your sex drive back, this is the star you need to look out for. Um, both for, for singles and for married people or people who are in a relationship. And here again, we look at the day stem. Yeah, so here, this part, we look at the day stem. So this one is a Z earth, meaning if you are Z earth, then the dragon is the red chamber star. Now, let's say... You have the dragon anywhere in your chart. So maybe you have the dragon here in the year or the month or the day or the hour. Then it means that you're generally quite horny. Yeah, you're generally very lustful and uh, you're a very sexual person. If you don't have this in the chart, it doesn't mean that you don't like sex. It just means that during the years that are dragon years, suddenly you become much, much more sexually active. Yeah, you feel a higher sex drive, right? So this is how you see this. And obviously, if you're in a relationship, this is, the, again, a star that you can use to reignite the passion in the, in the bedroom. So both the salty pool and the red chamber star have this effect that can bring back the passion. If uh, the day is ren, yeah, ren water, then the uh, red chamber star would be the rat. Yeah, again, so either you have this already in your chart, in which case you don't need to wait for a year for this to come in. It's already activated, it's in your chart. You're generally quite sexual. Or otherwise, whenever that rat comes in, if you're going through a rat year or rat month, for example, that's the time when you have a stronger sex drive. All right, so these are the four auxiliary stars that we look out for mostly when it comes to relationships. There are many different uh, interpretations for this. It can be quite complex, especially when we do a uh, relationship uh, or a partnership analysis, Yeah, when we look whether two people are compatible. But I'm just giving you the very, very basics here, and that should already give you some idea of what's going on and what you can look forward to in the next few years. So if you found this interesting, then please like, subscribe and follow me uh, for any updates. And if you have any questions, please uh, put them in the comments and share it with everyone who might be interested in these kind of peach blossom topics. All right. See you soon.